Hi everybody, this is Dan Pavlica in Howell, Michigan. I'm going to be working on a, another graphite painting. I did quite a bit in Photoshop on this particular course. And um, now I have brought it into Corel Painter, which is what we want to work on to begin with. So what I'm going to do to preserve this image is just we're going to work on the cloned image and we're going to go right to it with some brushes that I am accustomed to and have been using for quite some time. What I'm going to do is just bring you into this from time to time. You can see that I haven't even started anything yet. So I want to begin working on this and maybe bring in some gray areas down here along with more gray up here and maybe darker areas in here. One will highlight the other. So I'm going to begin this project and this painting and bring you along mm. from time to time. Thank you. Okay, I'm into the part of the painting that I'm going to be adding some shades of gray, some shades of black, maybe a little bit of white from time to time. But I'm going to do this on this area of the horse here. Again, I'm using my oils glazing flat brush. I'm using it as a blender, so I've got the reset down to zero, and just as a source and make sure I've got everything right, I've got this also to follow the colors on the original. So I go from here. Now if I want to add color, obviously now I can select the color, which is exactly what I want to do. I'm going to grab that and turn my reset up to about there. And you can see now what I'm wanting to do is to see how that little bit of black brought out the uh, gray area above it. Now I'm turning it back into a, it has a little bit of red to it. Um, I'm going to go back and command Z as much as I can here. There we go. Usually when I need to get the shades of black, I will pick it typically from the darkest area that I can see. And this looks like it's going to be just about it right there, Only I'm going to bring it into a uh, blue. And bring it all the way down. Okay, let's bring this back to about in between 15 and 20. And I'm just going to highlight the outer area of the hair that I just put in there, which was um, a different shade of gray. And so now I'm adding uh, pure black to it. And I'll continue to do this um, throughout the painting. And this is what's going to separate um, my work from many of the others that are out there today. And there's a lot of very talented people that are out there uh, doing digital paintings. And I'm just one of the, the many few. And this has indeed um, captured all of my attention. I'm going to go all the way down to the black because I want to bring out some black right, right there. Okay. Um, a little bit right next to it, and yeah, maybe right here, and it also gives me a chance to show some depth 
And if anybody has been following my paintings, you know how important that is to me. I've got the feature set at 3. Normally it's at about 3.5, but today I'm going to work at it with 3. So now I'm going to turn it into a blender again, and we are going to just start blending in those shades of black and gray that I had just um, put down. So anyway, I'll continue to do this and bring you up to date from time to time so you can see the work. Thank you. Hey, how about that? It, uh, it showed up right away. The painting that we're working on, and that is this uh, Frisian horse. All of the contact information that's shown in the image on my website will not be included with your orders. So <laughs> have, uh, have no fear. And I ended up bringing a title into this as I was finishing the painting, um, listening to some old Beach Boys songs. And one of them I, I liked back in the day is God Only Knows. So that's what I named this particular painting. And here is the uh, gallery wrap that I finished. And of course you can contact us, or you can contact me by selecting this red banner. And my website is djpavlica.com. So we'll get back to our routine here very shortly. Thank you.